Developing now an urgent search in Seminole County for a woman missing after this video surfaces appearing to show her being carjacked. You can see a man with a large gun walk up to the vehicle in the middle of traffic and then get into the back seat. This morning, investigators say that driver and the vehicle are nowhere to be found. News 6's Mark Lehman is following the latest developments this morning and joins us live from where that video was shot near East Lake Drive and Tuscawilla Road. And this is really frightening to watch, Mark. You can imagine it must have been a terrifying situation for the woman who appears to have been carjacked and confusing for other drivers. That woman was here stopped in the left hand turn lane of this intersection. When all this happened, another driver noticing something wasn't right and then started recording. Here's another look at that video from a witness. It was at this intersection just before six last night. You can see a man in a black hoodie got out of a car and pointed a gun at the driver of a white Dodge Durango. The Seminole County Sheriff's Office says that man was wearing what appears to be a Halloween mask and got into the back seat of the SUV before both cars drove off. Investigators say the woman who appears to have been carjacked is 31-year-old Catherine Alta Garcia Guerrero de Aguas Villas, who is from Homestead, Florida. And deputies are asking for help in finding her or any of the vehicles involved in this. The victim's Durango has a Florida tag of KBF F22. There's also a large for sale decal and phone number written in plain view on the back window. Investigators say a second suspect drove, drove immediately behind behind the Durango in a green Acura sedan with an obscured license plate. And out here at this intersection where it happened, we haven't seen any surveillance cameras. So that witness video is going to be crucial in all of this. Right now, the big questions that remain are who are these suspects and where did they take the victim? Anyone who sees the victim's SUV is urged to not approach it, but instead call 911 immediately. For now, reporting live near Winter Springs, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6.